What's up, everybody? It's your favorite Long Days, favorite nerd, and today we are looking at the Master Maid, God Bomber, God Jinrai, Power Master, Optimus Prime. It's too much for me, all right? I've 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 learned all I can learn. I'm not interested in wrapping my head around all of this stuff and what it is and what it means, etc. But one thing I know for sure, two things for certain, I have loved every Master Maid product. So I'm excited to take a look at this one as well. This is on loan to me from Joel W. He has been a tremendous resource and very helpful and let me look at some things that I normally wouldn't have the opportunity to do so. So shout out to him for sure. He actually wrote like a whole write up of some of the things that like he took into account and kind of thoughts and so forth and he put, put, put some pictures in there of you know some of his configuration stuff so shout out to him for sure. We have a ton to talk about here. I'm not exactly sure what the best way is to tackle this so forgive me but you can trust I will do everything I can to make sure that it is as fluent and as easy to kind of wrap your head around as possible. So let's begin. So this is two different sets that come together, set six and set seven. I'm gonna to try to explain that as we go through. Set six, which is the, the big prime figure, comes with these two things. Oh, sorry, Joe. <laughs> um, we got different color plastics. We got some paint deco on there as well. They're interesting enough in a five millimeter peg, which you will find works very well with a five millimeter port. And that is any five millimeter port that you can find, of which there are many. They recommend using them on the side when you're doing the big mamma jamma. The shoulder pads will also be gun turrets and truck mode. However, you are going to want the shoulder pads clipped on using the port down here when you go into super truck mode. Set six also comes with two of these. Once again, tons of sculpted detail, tons of paint, including uh, the tampo paint throughout. Just really well done per usual. It also transforms into swords. So that blade comes out and then the handle comes out. It is a little bit challenging to get the handle out once you've got it tucked away. But other than that, no issue. That'll peg in to the palm of his hand and you can wrap his fingers around it with no problem. You can also have the swords attached at the back as like wings or you could just fold them up for storage on the back as well. You'll notice when you get to truck mode that you'll have a pretty wide open gap on the side so you could take your swords and kind of plug them in there. When you go into super truck mode, you can have your swords kind of pegged on to the side of the large cannon, Nick Cannon. He's in a bit of hot water these days, isn't he? He comes with two of those swords, if I didn't mention that specifically. Uh, he also comes with this gun. Once again, tampo paint, tons of sculpted detail, tons of paint, including orange and silver. I think the red rockets there, uh, red glare is separate, and then the orange paint there. Um, kind of disproportionate to the bot, but that's part of the charm of these figures. That'll plug into his palm the same way the sword did, and he'll hold it with no problem. The gun also has a five millimeter peg that you can store on the back. You can take this section off. You can store that on the forearm or really wherever your little heart desires. That same little gun can also be held by your little Optimus. When you're going to truck mode, you can also take the gun and use these two side tabs here and plug them in to the side slots there. And I might have a hard time doing this on a camera, but you get the idea that'll plug the gun in. Now, Six has this Optimus sitting inside of his chest, and I'll show you how to get it out, and you can replace it with the other one. <clears throat> but if you want to get it into truck mode, you just bring these pieces down and bring the feet up. And I'm not sure which way. I guess they have to go this way. And flip up the smokestacks. And then you have the little... Optimus truck, which is fine. You know, it's it's goofy, but it's fine. And well, what the hey, there it is next to Tiger Tracks. Now to transform this guy, just flip these down, unpeg them from the side here, and you can bring the legs down. These pieces open up, and let's see what else. This opens up. There's tiny heel spurs let me bring this camera up a little bit down in here split the legs and you got to open up this i'm trying to uh there it is 
this flap here, and then this will reveal his big old melon. Came off the ball peg, but there it is. You can then close that back up. And let's see, flip these all the way around. Bring your arms down. Probably move them to the back there so they sit a little bit more heroically. And these pieces here split. At least it looks like they do. <laughs> I haven't done this. I'm doing it for the first time here. Um, there. That moves. This is on a slider. And then this comes back down. So you want to repeat that for the other side. And it's a little hard. I, j I just literally cut my nails. Um, flip the fist out, extend. Flip it back. And then the tires come up and underneath the waist. And I think that's it. I'll get it cleaned up. We'll take a look at it. So he's cool enough. The head is on a ball peg. It's a little loose. The tolerance isn't the best. Uh, translucent plastic for eyes. I think the white is painted on for the visor. Um, I mean, for the face plate, rather. And it's fine. Uh, no waist swivel. You do get an upward movement with the arms both here and it's like a small bit, but that gets you enough, I feel like. Bicep swivel. You get the swivel around on a ball peg. Single hinged elbow that gets you 90 degrees. Wrist, you get in and out movement. Same for the other side. Still nice detail comes through there. T-jointed ball joints for hips. Get you the full Van Dam. Get you the full Monty. Knees on a single hinge that gets you 90 degrees. Ankle are on Ankles are on ball pegs. You get ankle tilt down, up, and a rocker. So, yeah, um, you know, a nice little cool little fella. And there he is with the larger Prime, so you get an idea of the size. And just for S&Gs, there he is with the usual suspects. Gimmicks-wise, he has a light-up feature. It's supposed to be activated with this button, and I thought that he had put the batteries in, but they're not lighting up, so I'm not sure if there's an issue with it or not, but that is supposed to be uh, kind of a working gimmick. I finally got it to work. Uh, it's more in the helmet than it is in the eyes, so that's kind of a bummer, and I figured it. I got it to work anyway as I was boxing it up, so that would be another negative of mine as well, and the final thoughts, that's not in there because it wasn't the problem at the time. 7 also has a light-up feature. It has to be unscrewed to access this one, and this one is installed, and you can, or not to say that the other one isn't, isn't, but this one is working well. And there it is. I'll try to hit these lights real quick to give you a better idea. You know, it mainly ends up lighting up the chest, I feel like, and doesn't do much for the head, but uh, whatevs. But there that is. So let's go through the articulation of 06. So the head, we have orange, I think he has a dog. We have orange paint there, tampo paint on the side of the ears, orange paint inside of there, tampo paint, like, once again, kind of what they do. They paint, they sculpt, they make cool things, they have good materials and strong builds. So head um, is on a ball peg, you get up to there, down to there, swivel, a little bit of confused dog look. We have a waist swivel, no ab crunch. We do have all of the kind of truck mode stuff from the little Optimus that comes through. So the yellow, the translucent, the black and white, plus these details on the side and more tampo paint. Shoulders, universal, ratcheted out to 90 degrees, down, ratcheted swivel for 360. Plus we have tampo paint, orange paint, silver paint, etc. We also have a bit of a butterfly back and forward. Bicep swivels right above the elbow. Elbow, single hinge, ratcheted, gets you just about 90 degrees. Tampo paint, white paint added to the forearm. Wrist is on a ball peg, so you'll get up, down, you'll get in, out, you'll get the swivel. The fingers are all individually articulated at the base knuckle and then a secondary knuckle. The base knuckle is a ball peg, so you even get them out to the side a bit. 
The thumb is on a hinge that allows it to go up and down, a secondary knuckle, and then a tertiary knuckle. So fully articulated hands. As for the hips, universals, tensioned out to the side for the full Van Dam, tensioned forward and back for pretty much the full Monty. I say we give it to him. Pelvis has some orange paint. We have a thigh swivel built around the universal, so no issues there, plus some gray accents along the way. The knee, whoa, is a single hinge. Uh, it kills the sculpt, but you can get the full run, so that'll allow for articulation. Um, I wonder if you can, you know, you could take these down, move these little red pieces, and that will allow you to hide some of the, the kind of gap a little bit anyway. Lower legs, full of sculpted detail, full of tampo paint, full of accents. Tremendous. Tremendous on both sides. Ankle, ball peg. Not really anything down. You do get a good bit up. The toe hinge you can get down to kind of fake it either way. And the rockers on the ball peg. Little limited, but you do have it. And there he is from the back. Seven comes with these two wings. They're nicely done. It's white and red plastic with some accents and your typical kind of uh, tampo paint that they do. You can use them just for the statue mode and have them sort of sit out here to the side. Seven also comes with these two additional weaponry configurations here as well and tons of sculpted detail, tons of paint to include the oranges, silvers, and tampo paint, both really nice looking. And you can use those in statue mode as well and just have the guns kind of sitting over the shoulder. You also apply these cannons into these moving sections in super truck mode. Now this guy, you can of course take the lighting mechanism off as we've shown and you can also untab this and then there's two pegs where these two circular pieces are and take this whole piece off of the pegs and then you can separate this and now you're left with these four components. You can take this piece and slide it over top of your six and that chest piece was what will kind of lock that in place. Of course the wings will integrate into the built-up mode plugging into the same space. The guns will integrate into the built-up mode plugging into the same space. You get these built-up armor pieces. Um, they're pretty interesting. There's some moving parts to them. Once again, paint all over them, sculpted detail all over them, and pretty much the same type that we've been talking about. The ones that are more L-shaped will plug into the built-up mode on the forearm. Now, the L-shaped ones will also go into the shoulder piece in super truck mode. The ones that are more W-shaped will plug in to the shoulder at the gray plug. Your W-shaped pieces, you can apply using this tab onto that, there's a middle section of the truck. Seven also comes with this piece with the two orange or three orange accents on and then the swivel. You can use these three tabs here to plug into the built up mode. Now with this piece from seven, you can separate the top and sort of place this to the side. You can take off your sort of add on wings. You can lift up on this, it actually slides into the back of that gray piece and then slide this one on and put that down. And now you have a head that's more kind of proportionate uh, to, the, to the figure. And you can put this back on, obviously, and have that look. But like, that's just not as cool to me, man. There's something about like the novelty of the big head thing that's like, it's appropriate for stuff this small, I feel like. It like, but not that this isn't cool. This is cool too, but um, I just feel like it's not as cool. This piece that you've discarded can also be used in place of the one that's on there, but I'm not sure why you would, but you can. You can replace this or the head pretty much with any configuration throughout the entire option list. So you would just remove this piece by opening up that gray flap and then you could put this one in. Oop, sorry about that. And then close it back up and you could do the same thing. I'm just not sure why you would unless you wanted to have the little Optimus standing separate. Now here is six with all of the armor bits added on, I believe. 
and you know i mean it works pretty well man looks pretty cool it's you know you do start kind of bumping the pieces in but this is always the problem when you kind of do this rendition of prime but uh i mean i don't think it's obnoxious you know what i mean at all i, I think it actually it looks pretty cool Besides comparison wise, there he is with Magic Square Optimus. I don't have any of the Master Made stuff, so I'd say he's probably in line with most of their stuff. Feels familiar anyway. To transform it, we're gonna lift up the head. We're gonna remove our prime. You gotta remove, I believe, either one, definitely. And then flip this down. Waist swivel 180. So the head is now facing the back. And then on this side, you wanna start opening some of this stuff up. So untab this piece here, untab this piece here, bring these out to the side, open, uh, open this up, spin it, extend your full shoulder on both sides, bring your arms to the front, make sure your stuff is all lined up, fingers down, Turn the wrist out. Then rotate until your arms are off center a bit and bring the fingers up. All right, so your arms should be facing like this. Bring them both up at the shoulder joint. And then bend the elbow joint. And now you want to open up the side guns here and rotate this out and rotate this back wheel out. So same on this side, side guns, hand in, and then wheels out so now in order to get this lined up you got to work around this peg here so manipulate the shoulder until you can get the peg on the outside and the shoulder on the inside and all you got to do is kind of extend that joint there wrap it around and you should be good so then take your forearms make sure you got everything lined up and they'll peg directly in to these uh, side pieces here connected to the, the hood of the, or the roof of the vehicle. All right, bring these wheels out, flip them towards the outside and just maneuver them around until they'll sit kind of somewhat flush up against the side. We just need them out of the way for the next step, which is to get these legs collapsed a bit. And you do that by bending down and then rocking in and then take this piece here and is in betwixt his legs and tab into these two gray ports on his uh, inner calves. On the side, take this panel, flip it forward and it'll plug in to the white section of the shoulder which will allow you to flip the wheel into the proper location and tab it into the side there. And you're gonna wanna do that on both sides. So just get that in there and then open up the wheels and peg them in to the appropriate port down there. At the feet, bend the toes down, angle out and sort that. Same on this side, toes down, angle out, sort that. And then you just roll in the uh, Optimus there and tab this down on the sides. I'll get it cleaned up, we'll take a look at it. <clears throat> and there it is in vehicle mode and you know I guess it's fine it never I'll be honest with you the power master prime stuff it never works for me I guess this is and I'm sure you could get this a lot tighter if you have all day or all life to spend with it but um, I mean you got your guns that move here and it kind of gives you the suggestion of pipes here and guns here and a big old gun there and I mean, there's options here and it's I get it it's decent enough and there it is next to tiger tracks and there's super truck mode and it's even bigger and arguably dumber but um this is what they do right they just pile stuff on these things until they they have something that's kind of shaped rectangularly on wheels and it this does it as as good as any of them the only uh pieces that i'm i couldn't figure out if they are integrated at all this wing set um this pelvis piece 
Uh, I got an extra head, of course, and then the extra cab, of course. And the, the cabs are swappable, the heads are swappable, so I don't think those are accounted for. Oh, there's also this piece, but we don't really use this for much of anything else, so I'm guessing I'm okay with that. Only thing I'm not sure if I'm screwed up somehow, I don't see pictures of this thing integrated anywhere, but maybe it tucks up underneath and does all of this and sits, you know, for, for all I know, I, who knows. But yeah, I mean, look, it's cool enough. It does its job. It's supposed to look like this, which is strange, you know, esque, but, um, there it is, it's this armored semi-truck with more guns and swords on it than you could possibly imagine, and more importantly, there it is next to Tiger Truck. Final thoughts wise, let's start with the negatives. My biggest negatives are some of the tolerances. So, a good example of this is on the weapons, especially the sword blades, like getting them to fold out, they can get stuck, they can get jammed up, it's like a really tight squeeze. A lot of this stuff has to be kind of lined up perfectly to get to alt mode, that's also kind of frustrating. And then in alt mode, I don't feel like it's super rock solid, I feel like there's like, it's like just waiting to blow back apart. But to be fair, it's possible that you can get it a lot tighter than what I have. I had a hard time following the instructions. He also gave me some added tidbits to kind of help me through the process. So those weren't my favorite. And I think that the alt mode itself is kind of more suggestive than it is anything kind of concrete. But also to be fair, I find I feel that way about a lot of this stuff regarding Optimus Prime when he's more than just a truck that turns into a robot where he's got to have all this command unit stuff based with him. I, I feel like it goes overboard more often than it doesn't. And that's it for negatives. I like this thing a lot, as I tend to like most of these master-made pieces. It has a lot of personality. It's a lot of fun to mess with as a figure. It's articulated well, it's painted beautifully, and there's sculpted detail in every nook and cranny. It makes for a very sharp display piece. A lot of bells and whistles, rubber tires, even on something this small, tampo paint, translucence, light-up features. I really feel like they leave no stone unturned, and they really try to give you something worth your money. I feel like this company takes price point and value at price point into consideration consideration more than most. I think they care about their reputation. I think they care about their brand. I think they care about their product. And I think it shows in almost every release. A very cool kind of little desk figure to have for mucking about. So yeah, certainly a strong recommend from me. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Until next time, take care.